Welcome back everybody to Copycat Chef. I'm your host, Jason Catalano. And on this channel, we look to be your guide for cooking, baking, and beverages for the busy bodybuilder. And today we have a really good one. It's a beer review of North Coast's Old Rasputin. So with North Coast's Old Rasputin, this is a Imperial Russian stout. All that means is that it's a really, really kind of big and dark and complex type of uh, stout. And just to give a little bit of an overview, this comes in at 9% alcohol by volume. So it's a little bit, obviously, a, it's a higher alcohol content. It comes in at over 300 calories, so about 303 calories, so it's definitely a pack of calories. And you can get it a four pack for about 849 at total wine. So it's definitely a little bit more expensive, but uh, it's definitely a renowned kind of craft beer that way. So with that, I would say the purpose of this beer is a hoppier kind of Russian stout. Um, it's not as high alcohol volume as some of the other craft brews out there, um, but the purpose is really kind of being a hoppier American, you know, Russian stout with uh, full body. Um, it's pretty, pretty full body. So with that, let's go ahead and pour it. I'll just kind of give a little bit of a heads up on these Imperial Stouts. If you go onto the uh, Beer Judge Certification Program, they have a lot of beer guide styles and everything. And for this particular one, they say that it's uh, supposed to really kind of hit you with a nice, rich body, full body. And it's supposed to hit you with kind of coffee and it's supposed to hit you with chocolate notes. And it's just supposed to be a very, very full flavor. So with that, as you can see, I'd say a nice deep, deep brown, very deep brown. As you can see, it's kind of this nice deep brown, uh, you know, decent carbonation, just kind of lighter on the side. It's a very pleasant smell though. You definitely smell chocolate. Yeah, you definitely smell chocolate um, with some hints of coffee, but it, it smells actually really nice. It's not hoppy at all. Um, doesn't give a real hot aroma to it. Wow, really good flavor. Wow, that's actually, uh, yeah, I really like this one actually. This uh, gives you that nice hop on the ending. So on, on the back end of the palate, it's definitely some nice hop dryness at the end to kind of take you away, but the, the middle and the beginning was very smooth. Very, very smooth. Um, really, really good chocolate notes on it. Kind of like a, a hint of a coffee in there too. Mostly more chocolate though. Um, really smooth in the beginning and the middle. Um, Yeah, okay, yeah, definitely a little more chocolate or a little more coffee than maybe at first taste. But that was actually a lot more approachable than I would have first guessed. Um, that's actually, yeah, it's a lot more approachable. Um, personally, I'm not a huge Imperial Stout fan um, or Porter fan. Usually I like more of the pale ales, maybe a really solid Hefeweizen, something like that. Living in Germany for a little while, they don't really do a whole lot of stouts, but. Um, that is what I would expect a really good Russian stout to taste like. It hides the 9% at the end. I really like that hoppy kind of warm finish at the end. That's what I would love about this beer. It's probably a reason why I would drink it, specifically is for that taste. So I would actually give this, uh, yeah, personally, I, I, I'll get into that later. So we'll go with, uh, from a pragmatic perspective, that you can find other ones like this um, out on the market in terms of Firestone Walker has a Parabola, um, very, very similar, which got a 100 actually on Beer Advocate. And Sierra Nevada has a Narwhal, which is a little maltier version than this, and that got a 93. This one got a 96 on Beer Advocate. But I would really say this is a really, really, really good beer if you are celebrating. So let's say you're getting a steak, or let's say you're getting uh, barbecue, where you're going to like Armadillo Willie's, you know, Texas style barbecue, and you're, you're celebrating something. You want something that's big, it's uh, powerful, it's strong, it's, you know, just have a good time. 
that's the spear. That's the spear in a nutshell. Um, I would love to have this beer going to, I just think Black Angus Steakhouse. Whether you're with uh, friends or family, I don't think it matters. It's, I'm having a steak, I'm celebrating something, whether you graduated or a birthday or something, this is the beer I'd go to. This is my go-to beer. Um, yeah, so from a popular perspective, this actually, uh, Old Recipe actually has a really kind of cool uh, cult following because it's kind of that hoppier stout. Um, kind of like Sculpin on the IPA side. For the stout side, it's kind of old Rasputin. Very, very popular though, especially in the craft brew world. And I can see why. This is, uh, this is a beer that's memorable. Specifically, I think that nice warm at the end, nice warmness. In the beginning and the middle, just really kind of a smooth, solid stout. Um, good, nice chocolate and coffee base to it. And just pragmatically, like I said, it's a very, very impressive stout. It's very, very full body. It gives you uh, something more than a porter. It's, it's a little drier than a porter. It's really just an impressive beer. Yeah, I would probably, for me personally, I'd probably give it, I'd probably give it like a 96, maybe even a 97, and especially for stouts. This is solid. And if you're a beginner for stouts or any of the darker beers, I definitely think a lot of like my wife's friends, I think they would actually drink this and not be tuned out too much to it. So it's, it's very approachable. And you know, like I said, I would definitely say cream sauce and steaks. Um, I just think like beef and pork chops and, and a really good hearty meal. This would go very, very good with it. Not an everyday beer, but certainly as a celebratory beer, this is absolutely one I would definitely recommend. Um, so with that, giddy up.